How's it going everyone? Welcome back to our next episode on how to create HTML and CSS. Now in this lesson, I'm going to teach you about something called the CSS variable, which is something that's relatively new when it comes to CSS styling. Now a variable is something that we use inside many other programming languages such as JavaScript and PHP, just to mention a few. And it's something that helps make creating websites a lot easier, especially now when it comes to CSS styling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what exactly a variable is, and then I'm going to show you how we can create it inside our CSS styling. Now, a variable is a type of container that we can assign a value to. So let's pretend for a second that I have a huge website. And inside this website, I have a specific color that I use for all the text that I have inside the website. Let's say for a second then, after creating the website, I want to change the color into something slightly darker or slightly brighter. Then instead of ha having to go inside the style sheet and change the styling in thousands of different places by going all the way down the style sheet and changing it one by one, I can just go ahead and refer to that variable inside my entire styling when I create the styling and then later on just change the value inside the one variable we have at the top of the style sheet. And then all the colors change inside the styling when I do that in one place, which is such a great feature to have when it comes to CSS styling. Now, if you still don't quite get what I talk about when I talk about variables, then I'll show in just a second. So what I have here in front of me is a index page and a style sheet. And inside my index page, I have a div box called section one. And inside section one, I have a H2 paragraph. I have a paragraph and I have a div box with another paragraph inside of it. Now, what I have here at the bottom is another div box called section two, and inside section two, I just have an H2 tag and a paragraph. So what I want to do is I want to say, well, I'm going to be using a specific color throughout uh, this entire website for my text. So what I can do, instead of having to write the color repeatedly inside uh, all the stylings I have inside my style sheet, is I can go into my style sheet I'm just gonna go ahead and comment this out because we don't actually need this yet. And inside the style sheet, I can go ahead and create a pseudo element, which we haven't talked about yet, but I will in, in the next episode. Uh, we can create something called a pseudo element, which means to refer to a specific thing inside uh, the website. So what I can do is I can say we have a pseudo element called root. Now the root pseudo element refers to the highest element inside our website, which means that any kind of styling that I might apply to the root pseudo element applies to everything inside the website. Just to explain that in another way, if we were to go inside the index page, the highest element that we have inside this specific website or at least inside this document here is going to be the HTML tag because it's wrapped around everything else inside the website. Now the root element is one level higher than the HTML tag. It is something that applies to everything inside the website, just to explain it in a simple way. So the reason I'm trying to style the root element inside this style sheet here is because when we create a variable, we can only access the variable from any kind of child elements we have inside the style sheet. So any kind of element that is the child of whatever I'm trying to apply the variable to here can access it. So we need to go up in the highest level of element inside the website and then create the variable so we can access it from everything inside the style sheet, if that makes sense. So inside the root element, I can create a variable. So I'm going to say we want to define a variable by saying dash dash, and then I need to give it some kind of name. And you can define any kind of name that you want to. In this example here, I want to use something for creating color for text. So what I can do is I can say uh, text dash color which is a name that we can apply. You can also use dashes inside the name. Just make sure that it starts with two dashes because that's the name of the variable, okay? Then afterwards, we can say colon. And just like with any kind of CSS styling, we can then give it some kind of value. So I could say hashtag, let's say CCC, which is some kind of gray color. And right now, I just created a variable that I can access from any kind of element inside the style sheet. So if I were to go down here, and say that I want to go inside my, let's go inside the index page and just see what we have here. If I want to go inside section one and apply the styling to any kind of paragraphs that have inside section one, I can go ahead and go inside my style sheet and say uh, class section one, section dash one space P, which means the paragraphs inside section one, and then apply some kind of styling to it. I can go ahead and say I want the color to be 
some kind of value. Usually we would set it to hashtag CCC and then we would have a color for the text inside uh, this specific styling uh, path that we just created up here. But what I can do instead now is I can just refer to the variable we created up here, meaning that I can just go ahead and copy the name of it, copy, instead of setting the value to the actual value, I can then say va, which stands for variable, parentheses, and then inside the parentheses, I can just paste in the name of the variable. So right now, color is still going to have this specific value up here, but we're doing it by referring to the variable we created up here. So if we were to create, I don't know, section two down here, so we say section two, and then we want to start the paragraphs inside section two, Again, I just need to refer to the variable up here, and then later on, if I want to change the color, I just need to go inside the variable and change it to something else. And then it changes inside the other stylings we have below it here. So this is a great way of doing styling when you have one specific value that needs to be repeated in the entire website. So this is how we can do this specific thing. Another thing we can do, and by the way, if you want to create more than one variable, you just go ahead and do that in here as well. Just create another name for it, set a value for it. We can also do it for borders, for let's say a div box if you want to. We can say, uh, we can set it to solid, uh, one pixel, and create a color for it. And then we can just go ahead and refer to this variable when we want to create a border for any kind of element inside the website. You get the idea here, right? So what I can do now, is I can also go ahead and show you another example of using variables. Because when it comes to CSS, if I were to go inside my section one here and just delete the value in here, and well, I basically have the example down here, but I'm just going to ignore those for now. Um, if I were to go inside section one here and create a variable, then the same thing goes, any kind of child elements or this specific element that I'm applying the styling to or the, the variable to can use this variable. So if we were to create a variable here that I can say background, actually no, let's say text size, text dash size, then I can just go ahead and create a value for it. So I can say it's going to be 14 pixels then what I can do is if I were to refer to section one and then the paragraph in here, then I can just go ahead and access the variable as well because the paragraph is a child element of section one. So I can just go ahead and say we want to set the font dash size to the variable we have up here called text size like so. And then the same thing happens. Now what we can't do is I can't go inside the styling for section two, section dash two, paragraph, and then refer to this variable up here just like we did down here. Because remember, if I were to go inside the index page, section two is not a child element of section one, because then it had to be like this inside section one, because now it's a child element and now it would actually work. So it's very important that you understand that we can only do it to child elements inside our index page or inside any kind of HTML page we have inside the website. So this is how we can apply a variable to CSS styling. And it's something that, again, is very useful to do inside a website. And I really recommend that you use it for your website uh, when you create websites inside uh, HTML or PHP or any kind of program language you might create it in, as long as you have a style sheet applied to it. So this is something I recommend using. Now, I hope this was something that made sense to you, and I hope this is something you'll use in the future. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.